And breaking news we've been following since 430 this morning and all out searches on this morning for two Afghan students. These are Air Force students that have been missing from Moody's Air Force Base in Georgia. Now we're being told that they do not pose a threat, but obviously people concerned as they are, you know, searching for these people. They've been training with American forces there at that Air Force Base since 2000. And 15. We're going to keep tracking all of these details and bring you any updates, guys. All right, Renee, thanks. Uh, happening today, a school board member will push to ban the Muppets book from kindergarten classes at a school in Wisconsin. Her name is Mary Carney, and she believes the children's book is just too graphic for young kids. She says the book contains images of suffering children living in poverty and violence including one picture that shows a child living in a box in the rain. She's going to try to get this book removed from the kindergarten curriculum during a school board meeting today. 645, the Duggar family speaking for the first time on how they're coping with their son's sexual molestation and infidelity scandal that eventually led to the cancellation of their popular show. Now, Good Morning America has an exclusive look at this new TLC special. Earlier this year, you may recall the oldest son, Josh Duggar, admitted he molested five girls when he was a teenager, including four of his sisters. Two sisters, Jill and Jessa, have defended Josh publicly in interviews, but then later said they regretted that decision after Josh admitted he cheated on his wife, Anna, using the Ashley Madison website. She speaks out for the first time about the infidelity. I was just like, I'm going to wake up and everything's going to be okay. And this really, this can't be true. Now the show will follow Jill and Jessa on the next chapter of their lives and how they are determined to move forward as a family. So it is 647 now. Time magazine just named its person of the year. Want to let you know it is German Chancellor Angela Merkel. The Time article documents Merkel's journey from a young girl growing up in East Germany to her current role, which they're calling her Chancellor of the Free World. Now, other finalists who are on the short list, we told you about them this morning because this is when they announced it, were um, Russian President Vladimir mm -hmm. Putin. Caitlyn Jenner was on that list. Black Lives Matter activists were on that list. And also Donald Trump was on that list. Interesting because Vladimir Putin just won it as well in 07. And they have had repeat winners. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I guess congratulations are in order for yeah. Angela Merkel. And you can and read Germany. the article. It, it explains their thought process on why they chose yeah, her. Yeah, they do. All right. So, you know, the military, they need your help by sending some holiday care packages for the dogs serving overseas. It's a program called Operation Military Care, Canine Care. The package is filled with things like doggles, dog goggles. I googled doggles and <laughs> found that they were dog goggles to protect uh, That protects all the dog's eyes from all the sandstorms. They also need shampoo and conditioner and also dog boots to protect their paws. You can drop off any of these items at the La Valencia Hotel in La Jolla, and you can choose from a list of all the needed items right there on 10news.com. There's a link right under the red TV button to check it out. You Google doggles? Yeah, it was a little confusing there, but I found that there were dog goggles. you were boggled goggles. by the doggles, so you Googled them? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll do you one better. We had a tweet come in of somebody that has doggles. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Yeah, right here. Jim, Aww. you can see in the back seat, he's got his two uh, Labradors right there, and they're wearing doggles. Aww. There it is. How cool is that? Oh, look at that. So, uh, yeah, that's what they look like. So that's what you're looking for to help donate. 56 degrees downtown, 45 in El Cajon, a degree cooler in the Oceanside area. Much cooler as we head into the rest of this week as all this cold air shifts south. All the heavy rain that Oregon and uh, Washington have seen, it's going to weaken as it moves south. But, hey, we'll take anything we can get. Look at that. Snow for our Sierras. And we're talking about a time frame and anywhere between 8 and 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. We'll start to see showers develop, isolated to scattered showers uh, through the day on Friday as well. So make sure you join us Friday morning. Expecting to see some, sho some showers for the commute tomorrow morning. We could see some fog, so make sure you join us then. We didn't see any fog form this morning. It did form in the LA area, dense fog in fact. Already talked about the strong, dangerous winds we're going to be dealing with. As far as rain goes, generally pretty light. Light to moderate showers, a trace to a quarter of an inch for our coastal and valley areas. The mountains are going to get the bulk of it, and we could see a dusting of snow at our highest peaks by Friday morning. Along the coastline, we're back into the 60s tomorrow, mid 60s near average. Friday into the weekend, we're, all go we're also going to see those uh, winds and surf build as we head to Friday and Saturday. And then another similar storm, just like the first one we're going to see on Friday, arriving on Monday. Again, showers, winds pick up, temperatures dropping in the mid 60s for our inland areas Friday through the weekend, even colder into next week. Our mountain areas dropping into the 40s by Friday, and we're 
only going to see a few sprinkles out in our desert areas Friday and Monday. Renee. Well, our 10 News breaking news tracker is on the scene uh, where a guy fell from the eight onto uh, a building that was on the uh, Pacific Highway. Paul, you still out there? It looks like things are clearing up finally. Yeah, I'll show you some video of what that looked like earlier if we have that available. Uh, Cruz, we're just about done here after getting that man off the roof. He's been up there for about three hours, according to bystanders. He told authorities that he was walking along the freeway, uh, a ramp up there, and he got dizzy, lost his balance, and fell off the side. Uh, fortunately, they were able to get him rescued. He's on his way to the hospital. And Pacific Coast Highway is, uh, Pacific Highway is now opened up in both directions. Yeah, and we're seeing video right now of that man being rescued. Uh, they say he possibly fell from that 8-5 interchange right there onto a building onto the 5. Of course, we'll keep following how he's doing. But again, Pacific Highway open. Paul, thank you. Let's get out to Sky 10 real quick on a crash on the 805 near the 54. You can see over towards the right hand side of the lanes, emergency vehicles there and a couple of vehicles on scene as well. I'm going to keep watching that and uh, get you guys an update when needed, guys. All right, thank you, Renee. Hey, get your phones out. Time for you to call for a chance to win a free trip to Legoland. Tenth caller wins a family four pack of tickets. Early holiday gift, you know, from us and Legoland to you. There's a the number 619-237-6212. Good luck. We're also tracking two breaking stories in San Diego this morning as we get you ready for your day of break in at Kit Carson Elementary School overnight. We're going to tell you what the thieves got away with and what this means for students today. And let's take you back live. A dramatic uh, rescue happening in Old Town right now. A man fell off a freeway overpass onto a roof. Next in three minutes, we're going to tell you about the latest in Old Town on 10 News to Go.